Hello, my name is Ned, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Zap with Caspio so that you can archive or backup your Caspio data in Google Sheets. Let's have a look. Here's a submission form created in Caspio that allows me to create a new project. Notice that when I submit the form, the data is captured inside the Caspio table. But thanks to this integration through Zapier, we're simultaneously capturing the data in Google Sheets as well. Now, although it's not necessary, I do recommend that you name the fields the same way in both your Google Sheets document and your Caspio table so that you can easily map them out when you start to configure the Zap. We'll learn how to do that later in the video. Now, in order for this integration to work, you will need a Caspio account for your database application, a Zapier account, which is a platform that lets you connect your Caspio account to over 1,000 apps using automated workflows, and you'll obviously need a Google account to access Google Docs. Once you have the form created inside Caspio, next step is to go inside your Zapier account and create your Zap. Then very simply give your Zap a name. Then you'll want to choose your trigger app. Go ahead and search for Caspio here and select it. We want the trigger to happen when creating a new record inside Caspio. On the following screen, you'll want to connect your Caspio account with Zapier so that Zapier can grab the data from the table. The pop-up screen will notify you that you need a Caspio integration URL in order to link your Caspio account to Zapier. Follow the instructions and paste your Caspio URL in the field. Click Yes and Continue. Let's allow Zapier to access Caspio now. When done, save and continue again. Now that we have given Zapier access to Caspio, we should be able to find a table that receives the project data. Select the table and click Continue. Follow the instructions on the screen, and when done, click on Fetch Data and Continue. Once the confirmation is successful, we'll then need to set up the action. To set up the action, let's find Google Sheets and select it. The type of action that we want to perform is to create a new spreadsheet row. So we'll select that and continue to the next screen. On the following screen, just how we gave Zapier access to Caspio, we'll need to give Zapier access to our Google account as well. Follow the prompt until you have successfully connected. Once connected, let's move on. The final step before creating the Zap is to modify the template by mapping the fields from your Google spreadsheet to the fields in your Caspio table. First, select the spreadsheet and then select your worksheet. And finally, we'll want to map out the fields. So we'll select project ID to project ID, project title to project title, and then just simply continue mapping out the remaining fields. When done, click Continue. You can send a test to Google Sheets if you'd like, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip the test and just click on Finish to save my modifications and then turn the Zap on. Now when I submit the project via the Caspio form, the data should automatically populate in both my Caspio table and Google Sheets document. This concludes our video on how to connect Caspio to Google Sheets. If you have any questions, give us a quick call. For additional videos on how to use Caspio, keep it right here on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe for any of the latest tips and tricks on how to use Caspio.